Hello everyone, welcome back to you. And no coughing. Let's get this to wall. I shall play this. Solomon Motto. That one cab. And then I'll know about how I'm in the world. I'm in the world. I can't. Solomon. Matthew.
and your head to my head. I will fit one card and then more. And then I will take the jury bean and then you next turn. My Gwinchy Gwacha! No, I take with him. Hands. 
my turn.
destroyed my map. Activate the spell. Is it right? It is my turn. I wanted to do that. Cause now I'll actually see something in the world on by the other two. <laughs> <laughs>
Almost fully energized. I will soon reunite the dimensions back into one. And after all this time, I will have my daughter back. Ray says, when Zark resurrects, you will need my help to stop him. Or the world as you know it is doomed. And I believe her. Competition for the victory. Who can be the best? But as much as I enjoyed it, guess what? I'm going to enjoy what's about to happen now even more. To the victor goes the spoils, after all. And the spoils are you and your powers. Oh, shut your trap and wipe that smirk off that ugly face of yours. Uh, ugly? But you're me, and I'm you, Hugo. It's time now for us to merge. Actually, merging sounds like we're on equal footing. But that won't be the case, Hugo. Sure, you put up a decent fight. But you never could beat me or my starving venom fusion dragon. And now I'm going to absorb your powers until there's nothing left of you, Hugo. Uh-oh. What now? No, stop this. Stop this at once. Stop, but I'm just starting. Yes, reunite! As one! <laughs> Hugo's gone. Uh, he's not gone. <laughs> he's become part of something much greater. And that something is me. And with his strength, none of you peons can stand in my way. But I want more! I'm only halfway there to achieving ultimate power! I want Yuya's power! By uniting as one! Unite as one! <laughs> no, if we can't stop Yuri, the world is doomed! Huh? 
Or have you forgotten all of our training already? Riley, I understand that these are confusing times, but we have so very much in common and don't need to fight. However, since you're fighting in the hopes of reviving Ray, then I must tell you, I will do all that I can to stop you, and nothing will change that. Don't you see? I won't let any harm come to Suzu and the others, and I won't let Father combine the dimensions. But if I cannot convince you with my words, then Riley, I'll just have to convince you with my cards instead. Maybe it's you who needs convincing. I end my turn. It's my move. I draw! I use Double D Savant Thomas and this Triple D Knowledge King Tomb Conquistador to set the pendulum scale. Prepare yourself, Riley. I can now summon as many monsters between levels two and five as I want. I pendulum summon and call upon my monster to emerge. Come again! Double D Brownie! And when Double D Brownie is pendulum summoned from my extra deck, I can tribute it along with another monster that's already out on my field to activate its special ability. So let's go ahead and do just that. I tribute Brownie and Triple D Stone King Darius! D Brownie's pendulum ability lets me move Knowledge King Tomb Conquistador from the pendulum zone onto my field. Pretty big. But wait, Tomb Conquistador may have 3,000 attack points, but that's the same amount as my Sonic Halberd. So you can't hurt me. Not unless I activate Conquistador's special ability by sending Dark Contract with the Eternal Darkness to my graveyard, I raise Conquistador's attack points by 1,000 until the end of the turn. Oh no, now it's stronger! Yes, Riley. Doom Conquistador destroys Sonic Halberd and end this doom. Plasmic Pulse Pulverizer! <laughs> Show! <laughs> ah, here you are. It's you. Come now. Where are your manners? I do have a name, you know. It's Yuri. And I'm here to absorb you. Just like I did your friend, Hugo. You beat Hugo? Uh, he did. I saw it all. Poor Hugo. He didn't stand a chance against him. Oh. But this ends right now. Listen to me. You're not taking my son, Yuri, because I'm going to beat you, and Sark will not revive. Oh, beat me? How ridiculous. How can you beat me when you can't even stand? Why don't you beat it? <laughs> You monster! Dad! Oh no! Oh, boo-hoo. I'm down, but not out. You hear me? You want some too? Declan, no! I'm okay. It certainly looks like you're all mine now, Yuya. I don't think so. Power Blast isn't enough to change that. Aw, isn't that sweet? A father sticking up for his dear, dear son. It's just too bad for you, you though, that dear old dad doesn't have what it takes to save him from becoming one with me. Unite as one! Ah! No, I won't! I won't do it! Come on, Pops, let me be nice and put your son out of his misery. It's what's best for him, you know. I beg to differ. You see, the best thing for you you're right now is to teach you a lesson. Seriously? You've caused enough suffering for ten lifetimes. Maybe if Leo 
gave you a couple hours of detention every day, you wouldn't be such a terrible person. Detention, you say? But that was my favorite class. This is no joke, Yuri. You will no longer hurt anyone. Because you're going to stop me, right? Fine, I'd be more than happy to add a brand spanking new card to my collection. And you know what? I'll file you away with my other rare cards. Because it's rare that someone would be so stupid as to challenge me. <sighs> now then, get ready, you show, to become two-dimensional! so long. If Yuri absorbs Yuya, Zark will resurrect at any moment. We cannot let that happen. Is that understood? Yes, sir, it is. But, Professor, we need more power before we can transfer Lulu into the reactor. I don't care. Transfer Lulu now. Time is ticking. Just do it already. Sir. Ah! Must resist! Stay strong, Yuya. Don't you give in! Please, Yuya. Please hold on. If only Ray was here. Yuri, I will never let you have my son. Not in this dimension, or any dimension. Oh, such a good father you are. Even though it's gonna end so badly for you. I guess that's one opinion, just not mine. As calm as you appear to be, I know you're scared. And do you know why that is? Because if I had to face me, I'd be scared too. In fact, I bet all my hairs would be going white from all the fear I was feeling. That's why I wear the top hat. Keep joking, I'll enjoy wiping that smile off your face. Let's do it! First, and to start, I'll summon Predator Plan Cephalotus Snail from my hand. And then I'll place two cards face down and end my turn. Can the peanut gallery keep it quiet? I'm trying to focus. <laughs> so that's it? Huh? A monster with 1,300 attack points and two face downs for your first move? I mean, it's good, but it's not spectacular. And why would anyone settle for anything less than spectacular? It was spectacular. You just don't realize it yet. You're up. Yes, I am. And it's a good thing, because someone needs to provide this match with some razzle-dazzle. So here I go! First, since there are no monsters on my field, but there is a monster on your field, I can summon Perform a Pal Review Dancer to take her playful place on stage. <laughs> this gal danced her way into my heart the moment I found out she counts as two monsters instead of one when I tribute summon. So I'm using her to summon the mystical and magical Perform a Pal Sky Magician. Magician! You do know a couple of card tricks won't win you this duel. We'll see about that. Are you serious? Huh? Yes, but I'm going to make this duel as grand as I can. So get set to see a spectacle the likes of which you've never seen. So get ready, it's showtime! Do it, Dad! What's his plan? Alrighty then. Now, bring it. Start the show. Radio. First, I activate the spell Magician's Right Hand from my right hand. <laughs> and since Performer Pal Sky Magician is presently on my field, once during my turn, I can target a single spell card that you have out and then destroy it. That's a lot of razzle for no dazzle. Well, Yuri, I beg to differ, because I believe your spell card is much more valuable than you let on. In fact, I believe it's your key to winning this duel. The key to winning this duel? <laughs> That's quite the proclamation. But you do realize I have two cards out, right? So you don't know which one is my ace in the hole now, do you? Ah, that does seem to be a problem. And your magician's right hand only destroys a spell card, correct? 
What if both of my face-down cards happen to be traps? They most certainly could be, and if I turn out to be wrong, I'll lose this duel and be at your mercy. <laughs> you sure are a character. My duel with Hugo was fun, but this... This is next level stuff. Next, next level. Sure puts a smile on my face, but if I lose, I might not be smiling. Go ahead and pick, old man, but be sure to choose which card wisely. In due time, my boy, but first I activate Sky Magician's special ability. So now he gains 300 attack points. Next, Sky Magician will attack Cephalotus Snap and show our audience he's not all he's cracked up to be. I don't think so. Go, Doxine Planter! It transforms your Sky Magician from Wind to Dark Attribute. And when your monster attacks my own Dark Attribute monster, I'm sorry to say that battle is negated. I know I'm a total game changer. Yuri's in total control of this duel. My dad has to act now or he's gonna lose. Yuri's in total control of this duel. My dad has to act now or he's gonna lose. Now, now, no need to worry. Don't lose faith in your old man, my boy. Now, because you activated a spell card, I can return a spell card on my field back to my hand. And then activate a different spell card from my hand. So with the shake of the wrist and quick sleight of hand, my magician's right hand switches with my magician's left hand. And now, with a snap of its fingers, your trap is negated and then destroyed. It worked. It did. And look, it seems you show show is having a positive effect on you, Yuya. Huh? Bravo, Dad! And by activating this spell, Sky Magician gains 300 attack points. And that's no trick, Yuri. Sky Magician attacks Cephalotus Snail! If Yusho's attack connects... Yuri will take 1,800 points of damage. I'm afraid this is nothing I can't handle. My monster's special ability activates, so it can't be destroyed in battle. And the damage I take is cut in half. So, I guess this means that you failed. I failed? How so? Your strategy was to use your magician's right hand to destroy my spell card. My key card, as you said. But in order to protect your monster, you had to replace it with a different spell card, your magician's left hand, thus rendering your entire strategy a useless waste of time and energy. Quite the contrary, young fellow. My intention all along was to use magician's left hand so that I could destroy your trap card. It was essential to my plan. Because for my trick to work against you, I required one thing. I needed you to have one face down on your field instead of the two you originally had. So then everything you did, all the moves you made, were just to get me to use my trap card? Correct. So now you only have one card left. You could say it wasn't a sleight of hand, but a sleight of mind. And it all leads to this. I activate the spell card Clairvoyance. I shall now attempt to guess whether your single remaining face-down card is a spell or a trap. If I'm correct, that card returns to your deck, and I'm allowed to draw two brand new cards from my deck. Say what? You did all these maneuvers to end up with a 50-50 guessing game? It's not 50-50. In fact, I'll even guess the name of the card. So let me get this straight. You're going to guess the exact card that my face down is without looking? Yes, I am. Then go ahead. It will be your end. Why, thank you. Because this'll be a showstopper. <gasps> now, a magician doesn't usually reveal his tricks. But since this is a duel for the ages, I figure why not share why I know what card you have. I 
paid close attention to the things you said. They may have just been passing comments to you, but to me they told quite the story. And none was more telling than what you said at the very end of your first turn of the duel. It was spectacular. You just don't realize it yet. You're up. With those words, it was clear to me that you were planning to win the duel with one of the two face-down cards. So I put this theory to the test by saying that I would activate my spell, Magician's Right Hand, to destroy your key card. But you didn't seem concerned at all. As if you knew that my spell can't destroy your key card, providing me with the crucial piece of information. The clues were there. I just had to piece them together. When you played Dark Seed Plant, I switched Magician's right hand with Magician's left hand. This enabled me to destroy your Dark Seed Planter. That card could have changed my Sky Magician into a Dark Monster, revealing even more about your strategy. Why would you need my monster to be a dark attribute? Why, because Yuri, you were setting the stage for something big, a grand fusion summoning. And how exactly were you going to achieve this? By using my monster, Sky Magician. Huh? So what card can merge these monsters and isn't affected by Magician's right hand? Huh, why there's only one. Your key card is Super Polymerization. Yeah, Dad! It's time for my grand finale!